part we discuss in the sister center little bit i'm giving a few review very quickly my screen is visible yes ma'am okay we discuss about the vasishta sanhita who is writer of the vasishta sanhita says vasishta and there are having eight chapters so the uh, first four chapters are called as the yoga khan and the last four chapters are called khana khan okay and we are covering 1 to 6 because these are our related to the subject yogi yoga and these are our syllabus according to the net but mostly 5 6 is also related to the gyan so we are uh, today we are going to study about the chapter 5 so what we covering in the chapter 1 chapter 1 we seen that types of karmas or actions are there ashtanga yoga also discussed by the vasishta so here main character is two two person one is the sakti another one is the vasishta says vasishta and sakti is the son ajaras the disciple of the vasishta who is questioning to the vasishta and vasishta one by one giving the answer of the all the questions okay so in the chapter 1 types of karmas are discussing ashtang yoga also discussing yama niyamas asanas so tenth in in the uh, in the number it is discussed here and in the chapter 2 description of body nadis and vayus also we seen then varma stan which is the vital points of the bodies it is also here and the purification of the nadis and nadi sodan prana at the procedure that is also discussed in the chapter 2 then in the chapter 3 we are seen that pranayam practices are given that is the three things are there pura krechak and kunvak it is the stages of pranayam here then practice with bija mantra that is the pranam means oh how you need to do the practice with the a u and m that is also described here in the chapter 3 then description that uh, pranab or om description is given here the nada what is produced like on sound and the bell sound that is the also mentioned here then prana jay how you we get victory over the prana that is also it is mentioned here then pratyahara practices are given for and adharas how many adharas are discussed here can anyone tell me yes how many adharas are discussed here yes my sound is audible or not but your sound yes is it 10 n No. Six. How many vital points? Sixteen. Eighteen, ma'am. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yes. Okay. That is eighteen. You should remember. Okay. Sixteen adharas are discussed in the Siddhartha Padati, and here it is stated eighteen. Okay. Then. Ma'am. Ah. Uh, are you saying like vital points the adharas? Ha. Huh. Okay. Okay. you have to remember both the names because it is in english how much i consider the, uh, the books the shlokas are telling different and the names are mentioned in the english when it will be the conversation uh, means it will be uh, translate that is uh, in a different form so that i clear you again and again about the verses name and also i mention in the english name also the so little bit it will be the that type of expression is not there in the english so i uh, just uh, directly mention some names uh, if you seen in my slides also there i mention different names which is all present in the verses and as well as what is the uh, translation in english also but uh, what i seen in different things that is uh, some variation are will be there so i i tried to collect direct names of the verses okay So Adharas, you need to remember Adharas. Maybe in the English name, it is Adharas will be there in the question, or maybe it is the vital points. Okay, so you have to remember both the names. 
when then what is like marmasthan marmasthan adharas and vital points they are all same right yes okay then chapter 4 is the dharana and dhyana and samadhi they are, these are discussed here dharana we seen that five types of what are the where, where is the particular point you need to do the uh, dharana and dhyana how to meditate in the proper uh, that is the uh, that is also discussed here and samadhi how in which way you do the meditation so that you will get that samadhi state that we discuss in the chapter 4 but in this chapter chapter 5 we are a little bit it will be the discussion about the gyana so that when gyana will become the knowledge will become that means you need there should be discussion about the atman or the soul how it will be the nature of the atman or the soul is there that is discussed in chapter 5 and four states of jiva it is also stated here five folds of the universe that is also here and rasi zodiac and uh, In different range of grahas or planets are there. It is uh, it is uh, directly linked to the your uh, uh, astronomy type. All the chapters what uh, I seen in this chapter it is directly related to the astronomy. Not uh, that much uh, yoga things is here. But uh, from this chapter, you get uh, some previous year question. It is asked from this chapter. Okay, so that we need to cover this chapter, and this is also in exam point of view. It is very very important. And in the chapter six, last, it is very uh, one question only in the chapter five. Uh, uh, Sakti is asking how we know the date time. Means if one will be do this this these things. Uh, Ashtanga yoga, all the things, okay. By this, one will be uh, can get that samadhi state. But what are the remedies? What are the uh, solution for the uh, to means to uh, get the, no solution is there in the sixth chapter. But in fifth chapter, Ayya Sakti is asking how one will be know the death time. Okay, how one will know that my death is will be happening in the after two days or after one days? How one will be able to know? Then in the chapter six, the same question will be continue. How if after knowing the death time, then how one will be avoid that state or one will be overcome from the death? So that is only the three to four uh, solutions are given by the sister sister in the chapter six. Okay, the most important here understanding purpose chapter five is very very important, and here all the things are related to the rasi and grahas. So I don't have any idea about that. What is exactly the sister is telling in this the sister saying that I am just uh, telling uh, in front of you. If you have any idea regarding this, then you can also join and uh, also you can correct me on that order. But I I don't have uh, previous knowledge about that zodiac and grahas. But what is here? The sister is telling different thing is uh, telling about the rasis. How it will be interlinked with the breath? If you are doing this type of breath, then this rasis uh, persons will be faced many problems like this. This uh, it is discussed. Okay, so let's start our chapter five. This is your class eight of the sister Sanita. Okay, so let's see what is next. So in this chapter, Sakti is again asking because all the questions are continuing of the Sakti to get that knowledge. So lastly, he want to know the knowledge. What is the uh, important knowledge for uh, get that moksha state? But here Sakti is asking, if a soul means the Atma is nirguna without any attributes, what is discussing in here in the verse sister previously? That he discussed that that uh, Atma is Nirguna translating the all the things is repeated by the Sakti to put the another one question. So what he said, if your soul or Atma is Nirguna without any attribute, because you are telling that is no without any attribute means here uh, that, that is beyond the Rajas Tamas and Sattva that is the Nirguna without any attribute and it is uh, translating. Means beyond any limits, 
and immaculate means clean and tidy means it is very much uh, pure okay if atma is clean and tidy and ever blissful always in the uh, joyful state or always in the happy uh, state and devoid for all, all all days and immortal means never it will be die and never it will be destroyed then oh father just tell me born or destroy a body what is the reason what is the, then how it will be possible that our body will be die and our body will be take a path or gone again and where it stays after the death means if one will be died then what happens after the death just tell me and describe me about that next question is how can we know the time of its final destruction okay what happens in uh, after the destruction and how we know that, that that is our final stage and now we are going to die what is the time how one will be know please tell me now all the accordingly okay so here directly is sakti is asking about the secret of the death and how this body will be destroyed so by giving this answer my sister is telling many things many things here it is discussed so i just highlighted the things the so first my sister is telling the atma the soul which is pure and blissful when it joined with the body that is called jiva means jivat it is already we know and the same is things is discussed in the yogis also okay so when this atma and also it is discussed in your bhagavad gita also when this atma is uh, directly joined with the body means sarira the uh, uh, gross body then it is called as the jiva or jivat so then there is a transmigration means atma or the soul will be passed from one person to another body after the death what happen after the death now when the body will be died it will be the, the soul will be passed to the another body and it will be go to the another body directly okay and uh, jivatma which moves in different beings the atma means to, which is uh, get a body that is called the jivatma so it is appears like a moon's reflection in the water Okay, how the moon will be in the sky, but the, if water is there, the reflection of the moon is showing in the water. In the same way, atma is pure or the blissful, but when it will be considered and it will be go inside another body, it will be uh, seen like that body only. It will be named like that that body only. That is the his character and that is his uh, uh, identification according to the body. Okay. the same atma is named jiva when enwrapped by the delusion okay what is why, why it will be the called as the jivatma because when the atma will be mixed with that jiva when he get that uh, uh, body automatically some avidya will be come the delusion will be come here so that he is uh, he forget about the pure essence of the soul and uh, due to a bit he just bind with the different activities or uh, different actions which is the cause of his uh, different type of uh, uh, which is the cause of his uh, he forget about the pure essence of the atma okay when it bind with the body that is called that here was sister is telling body is called as the khetra when it recognized as a khetrakya means uh, and knower of the body means uh, when this atma combine with this body then that too will be the named as the khetrakya and jivat okay and the knower of the body it is also discussed in any many other things where it is discussed khetra and khetrakya any other chap bhagavad gita and any other you mean patanjali ma'am patanjali no any other one more hatyogik text also discuss about this khetra and khetragya what is that yes yogvis yogvis also discuss about the same thing 
okay what we are discussing now here the same thing is discussed in the yoga quiz the khetra khetra kya is there in yoga quiz but sister uh, also talking about the khetra and khetra kya and bhagavad gita also discuss about khetra and khetra kya so after discussing about the identification of the atma and jivatma then here little bit giving some more details about that that five substances is there okay first one is the enjoyer or the bhukta is there second one is the object enjoyable which is enjoyable by the uh, body that is all called as the object enjoyable or the bhogya okay and the enjoyment what you are enjoying enjoyable things are different but what you enjoyment the particular object is talking about that is the bhog okay and the place of enjoyment where it will be enjoyed so where it is the that is called as the bhogyatan okay and uh, through which object you are uh, enjoying that is the senses or the indriyas this is the uh, sequence of five substance you have to remember the particular sequence first one is the enjoyer which is the bhukta bhogya bhoga and bhogya dan and indriya in english translation it is enjoyer and the object of enjoyable okay enjoyer means enjoyer means we are seen uh, that is the jivatma so here the sister is telling that uh, we seen that jivatma is enjoying no actually jivatma is not enjoying but we consider because of that abhidya we are uh, thinking that that is the jivatma is enjoying suppose we are taking one example uh, here uh, the object of enjoyable of bhogya is both favorable and unfavorable fruits means anything prakritis are uh, it is here mentioned are the favorable and unfavorable fruits means maybe it is a happiness or sadness whatever the things is there what are the prakritis are there that is are called as the here bhog suppose we are taking an example you are eating a sweet okay a person is try to eat the sweet so here sweet is the favorable and unfavorable suppose suppose we are taking an example what is the enjoyment when you are taking that sweet inside your mouth what do you feel that happiness that that feeling is here it is called as the enjoyment or the bhog what you are enjoyed by eating that okay and who is enjoying that this body is enjoying suppose i am taking that sweet so i am enjoying that okay my body is enjoying that so who what you are enjoying by my sense organs by my tongue and when i eat that so that will be the uh, enjoyment but what i consider when it is it will be seen by the others or i what i am thinking that oh, we said na, many times our um, uh, atma santusht means it will be the i, I just uh, uh, by eating this one my uh, soul is uh, संतुष्ट हो गया ऐसे बोलते हैं ना तो सेम वे हियर मींस हियर अकॉर्डिंग टू द बस सिस्टर ही इज ट्राई टू से जीवात्मा इज नॉट एंजॉयिंग दैट वन बट वी कंसीडर दैट दैट इज द फाइव सब्सटेंसेस दैट इज द एंजॉयर इज द जीवात्मा एंड द ऑब्जेक्ट इज एंजॉयएबल व्हाट एवर यू आर इटिंग और व्हाट एवर द थिंग्स यू आर डूइंग द एक्शंस और व्हाट व्हाट आर द थिंग्स दैट इज एट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ एंजॉयएबल हियर इन सो बुक या and the particular things what you are doing that is the bhog okay the enjoyment uh, objects of enjoyments like happiness or sadness whatever the things etc et et is there and the place of enjoyment where is the place that is the sarir or body body is there and the senses is there the through which we are getting this enjoyable things why through which we are feel that things that is the sense organs or the means of enjoyment all of you clear about this five substance so i move to the next yes yes ma'am ha you have to remember here most important thing is sequence so enjoy enjoyer and the object of enjoyable maybe it will be given jivatma and uh, jivatma body in this way uh, 
it will be given you have to arrange it in the proper way okay jivatma body sense organs then object of enjoyment then favorable and unfavorable fruits so you have to arrange first first one is the jivatma which is the enjoyer and the favorable and unfavorable fruits and the third one is the object of enjoyment and the fourth one is the body and fifth one is the sense organ okay in this way the next vasishta is telling about the there are four states of enjoyments what are the states you are enjoyed that uh, first one is the jagrata which is the waking state second one is the swapna that is the dreaming state and third one is the susupti that is the sound sleep and the fourth one is the turiya that is the higher uh, higher blissful state which is the beyond of this three okay one more state is also said in siddha siddhanta padati can anyone tell me what is that name turiya tita very good yes that is called as the turiya tita that is beyond the turiya okay higher state or the void state but here basist according to the basista there are four states one is jagrata that is the physical body through which soul is enjoy the objects okay jagrat means when you are awakening means so waking state there when you eat that sweet you feel that uh, uh, feeling that sweetness is there you feel happiness in uh, your mind you feel that sweetness in your tongue and it will be go uh, uh, little by little it will be go to your stomach so that uh, happiness that sweetness you feel in the chakra chakra means waking state but what is happening in the swapna in see you are dreaming you are uh, seen in a dream where the state of soul enjoy the objects with its absence means in the dream state if you are dreaming about a sweet and eat that sweet and enjoy that one where what is that in the dreaming state it is the absence but you still you are enjoying that one. that is is the swapna state where the object is absent but you enjoy that objects in the dreaming state that is the swapna so swapti means here it is according to the basista the state where atma soul stays in the real form of divide means it is the state where which is the coming for a few time once few seconds it will become in this state where atma will be get its real form that pure form but it will become and it will be vanish it come and vanish means it will be again and again and it's coming and it will be going okay that state it is the susupti state that is the sound state and the fourth one is turiya which is only achieved through the samadhi state which is the soul free from the itself and from the worldly existence that state when you got the higher samadhi state that is the we can say that uh, patanjali is uh, telling that dharma make a samadhi so that is is here it is called as the turiya state means it is the higher state of samadhi okay so these are the four states what is discussed here mm -hmm. yes please explain third one again susupti susupti means the state where atma is means uh, coming to his form and again go, go back to the body means uh, again coming to the its form and again because of the absence of the different things and because of the enjoyable of the different things you are again come back to its body and uh, for few seconds you are coming to its form atma is coming to its real form so that action of uh, coming and going that is called as the susupti but when that action is completely placed in one atma state and it is free at the higher level that is called as the turiya okay here in the susupti state there is so the object is also absent and the the enjoyable things also absent here okay but here completely absent here in the susupti we can't say that it is completely absent no but in the turiya state it is completely absent of any objects because he has become free from the all type of worldly existence okay now it is clear 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. So next is it is discussed by the sister that fever consists of three stages. So more description is not given. Only he is just mentioned that fever is having gross body, which is called as the stola sarira, and the second one is the subtle body, which is the sukma sarira, and the third one is the casual body, which is the karan sarira. Okay. What we are seen in the stola sarira means the, in the physical body, that is, is the gross body, that is the stola sarira, this one, and the subtle body, which is present inside, that uh, we can, if we are linking with the kosas, that is the pranamaya and manamaya and the vigyanamaya kos, and which is the casual body, which is the karan sarira, that is, is the anandamaya kos, what is the, according to the kosas. But the kosas are not mentioned in the persister. He only said that uh, uh, three states, that is the cross body and subtle and casual body. So here you need to remember three bodies are discussed here. But for understanding purpose, I am taking this one. The Sula Sarira means the physical body, which is considered as the Anamaikos. And the Sukshma Sarira means the subtle body, which is the Pranamai and the Manamai and the Vigyanamai. This three is consist of Sukshma Sarira. And the Karan means the casual body, which is the cause that is your, your Anand Maikos. Okay. okay. So here more is thing, uh, discussing here about after that uh, Jiva state. That Linga Sarira, which is exist everywhere, bears the name of Jiva, means how the Jiva is renamed by this physical body and do good and evil deeds whatever the actions is doing through the physical body only so that is called as the cross body for that jiva okay so in this way the jiva moves in different bodies until it realizes the complete cessation of its action so it will be completely it will be going from one body to another body still it will be continue when he just destroy his all actions means when he will be not sieges all the actions means all the karmas will be uh, uh, all the karmas will be destroyed that means when he got free from this all the actions that's uh, till that point it will be moved from one body to another body so after sedation of the action the soul attains purification whenever the actions will be seized and that will be uh, avoid all the actions. Then only he gets that purif purification of that soul and thus purified soul will be realizes the own self. Then only after purification of that Atma, after purification of that soul, then he only know about that so own self means he know that higher state that is the Brahman he is identified. That Brahman is in between, that, that is the higher state of the Jiva after purification. When it purification will be happen, when all the actions become ceased, means all actions become destroyed, its fruits also he got. After that, only the soul will be get that purification state and he is able to realize about that own self. Okay. Then continuing this same one, how it will be get that purification state? So my sister is telling only through the Dhyana Yoga, one will be attained that salvation, one will be get that purification of this body and one will attain that Kaivalya state. And the destruction of the body Khatra is guessed. When he got that Kaivalya state, then only that body destruction will be there. Because he attained that state, then it will body is there or not, that will be no matter for that person. Because he got that city, that got that salvation, that higher uh, state of Kaivalya. Okay. So by, <laughs> by continuing this discussion, my sister is telling how the human being, human being is superior. So that is discussed here. Embodied soul means they are dhari, means the which having the body that they are very much superior. Here it is stated, but whoever the body is there, from among them intelligent creatures who are having the buddhi, they are more superior from this uh, the 
embodied soil because human being having also embodied soil and the animals having the embodied soil and the birds also having the uh, embodied soil but how it will be differentiate only through the intelligent only through the buddhi one is uh, becoming uh, we are different from the others so that here uh, the sister is clarify that who having the intelligent one that type of creatures only are the superior here so after the intelligent he just specify the human beings are prior among them whoever the intelligent persons are there human beings are prior among them then again from the human beings he just again clarify that or again point out that brahmins brahmins here uh, not uh, why the, he is taken that brahmins are superior among humans because uh, in that time only brahmins are uh, studying the uh, all the scriptures all the doing the all the practices so maybe he taken as the brahmins uh, in that way because other uh, because of the caste system others are engaged in the other activities so that they are maybe my sister is telling uh, because of that brahmins are superior among them but it is not exactly brahmins means here he mentioned who know about the brahma okay who know that the brahman that is all really the brahmins are there so okay by the way uh, he, uh, from human beings he said that brahmins are superior among the human again he is telling who which type of brahmins are superior who are the learned ones okay learned ones means who are following the knowledge and who are regularly follow the all the knowledge uh, all the activities rituals they are from among they are very superior okay and from who are following the all the tradition all the rituals from them on also he again specified knower of the brahman means all are reading all are studying we are all are preparing for the net but all are not qualified only the the persons who are really engaged and really want to achieve that goal that person only get that net uh, they uh, become uh, is able to qualify the net in the same way many brahmins are uh, are following the different knowledge and scriptures and uh, following different rituals but from them only who is the knower of brahman they are only the superior in this world means who are get that samadhi state through the dhyana yoga that person that person is the knower of brahman here and that person is the superior in this world okay according to the basistha by this knowledge one can know the time of death may attain the supreme goal after being free from fear of death means through this following this uh, things and uh, when he is becoming continuing his sadhana or doing meditation regularly then he is able to know about the brahman and he becomes know the time of death on which time and what is the kal uh, on which way he will be becoming died that is able to know and he becomes free from that fear of death okay after attaining the supreme goal means so after attaining that kaivalya step he becoming know the about the time of death of uh, his uh, itself and also he becomes free from that fear of death at that time okay all of you clear about this slide yes 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 ma'am okay next next question is asking by the sakti how one will know identify the time of death or take precaution of the death or any difficulties if you are telling uh, that one one will be get that dhana state and doing that samadhi uh, sorry regularly doing the dhana and get that uh, kaivalya state he is able to know the time of death then how, okay after uh, after know about that their their timing what how one will be take the precautions that i if i know that after two days i have become die then what are the precautions i will follow to do to avoid that death or any difficulties or any problems will be come in your life okay so that are the things is asking by the sakti so here 
the started she just the sister is telling about the all the astronomy about this here all the discussions is going on about about the astronomy first is uh sister is telling by knowing through external and internal signs one is able to know the time of death okay because of the some external signs also they are internal signs also they are what are the external signs and what are the internal signs in the normal way we know that uh, if any person is having old age he becoming a uh, breathing problem he, uh, he become uh, can't do anything that is the uh, signs of the death time in the same way here my sister is talking about uh, many uh, signs are uh, discussion here by counting breath also know the time that means if one will be count his breath also he know the time of death okay through his uh, breath only the means counting only and movement of bio means respiration if your respiration problem is there and the because of the bio movement also we can know that this is the time of death and the breath moves in and out in this body so uh, how it will be known through the movement of the breath how it will be known from the uh, by the respiration that is again discussing by the sister that breath what we are taking in and out that is uh, all are done through the two nadis that is as the chandra or uh, chandra nadi or bhaskara nadi what is the uh, <coughs> moon and sun we know that moon is ida and it is also discussed it is tamas in the previous uh, chapter and the sun and pingala and rajas was also discussed in the previous chapter but in this chapter basista is telling in which way uh, it is not described exactly but chandra nadi here it is called as the amruta nadi means the nectar okay and how it will be differentiate that is more discussion is not here only what he said i just uh, highlighted here that chandra nadi or the ida nadi is stated here the amruta nadi and the bhaskara the, the uh, pingala nadi is stated here the poisonous okay if your left nadi is uh, activate then it is the nectar and this is uh, your right nadi it is talking uh, uh, about the poisonous one how it will be poisonous how it will be the nectar that is not discussed here but more things are uh, more things are the sister is telling here which nadi which breath which nostril if you are taking then it will be act, you know, more good for your uh, different activities that can uh, that is uh, discuss according to the rasis and grahas okay so it uh, by the way you have to remember here most importantly chandra nadi or the ida it is stated here two two names two different names it here it is uh, said by the basista one is tamas one is nectar okay and the bhaskara or the sun is it is stated here poisonous and the rajas so it moves in the middle of the body which is called here susumna okay all are regularized by time factor which is independent and knower of time calculate time of death even by numeration of breath so wow it will be count so here it is the counting prana includes 60 breaths so according to the sister that 40 uh, sorry 60 breaths will be taken in 4 minutes okay 60 breaths are uh, taken uh, in 4 minutes here according to the calculation i written this one this is not mentioned in your vasishta sanita he is just mentioned that 60 breath in 4 minutes then how in 1 minute how many breath that is the 15 breath so this is the as usual or a, a healthy body person you have to take 1 minutes having 15 breaths you have to take 15 breaths in 1 minute then 6 pranas make one, one ghatika Okay, as we discussed earlier, Ghatika means 24 minutes. Okay, so one Ghatika is having six Pranas. A, uh, a Rasi consists of five Ghatikas. A Rasi. Rasi means it is talking about the zodiac. The so Rasi is consists of five Ghatikas. A term of day is 
12 brasses means all day it consists of all the 12 brasses are going on in the whole day a month is period of 30 days two months make a one season or ritu and the three seasons each make ayanas the utrayan and the dakinayan is there it is the dakinayan uh, utrayan means the sun uh, rays means uh, big uh, week will be the day will be the week and the night will be the week that is the utrayan and dakinayan that is the three seasons each make ayanas and the six seasons make one year this whole details are given by the basista that how it will be the our breath is related to the uh, your rasis how rasis will be the uh, related to the month how month is related to the uh, season how season is related to our one year means uh, it, uh, this all are interlinked to each other the span of a ideal longevity is considered means longevity of a person that is the ideal age it is written here the 100 okay means ideal age of a person is 100 according to the basista sanhita here it is mentioned directly that ideal age is 100 then how much breath in one minute that is the 15 breath in one minute after calculation okay so these things are mentioned in the basista sanhita only whole des uh, description and whole details are given here okay so all of you clear about this ma'am jo external and internal sign jo fast hai ha here basista is telling that uh, how you know the time of death because uh, the question is uh, put by the sakti na so basista is telling different signs will be there by external sign also you know that this is the time of death or through internal sign also okay the internal sign means here it is talking about the breath and the bio respiration uh, system will be maybe uh, problem is there and external means, means in your action also it will be showing that you are this is the near you are near about uh, to your die, uh, death okay that is the external internal sign. Clear? Okay. Okay. External what can be the signs, ma'am? Yes, yes. External what can be the signs, ma'am? Any example you know? External. External signs, yes, ma'am. External means we are not able to do anything because we are in the bed written that time. Okay, that is the external part. We are not able to do any type of actions. That is the external form. Yes or no? Okay, okay, okay. Now you understand because when a person will be in the position of the death, that is the uh, external sign. Uh, means that is uh, that it's already in the old age form, and he is not able to. He is uh, holding anything. He are not in uh, involved in any actions. He is not doing his uh, his or. Uh, own duty also it is impossible to do for that person or that body that is the external sign okay but here according to the rasis they are considering external and internal internal mostly uh, according to the basista that is the breath and external means he is talking about the uh zodiac means the rasis and grahas what is because of that maybe some uh problem will be there in your life through that sign you may know that this is uh, my your time of death suppose i am uh, going somewhere else then some uh, uh unpleasant or evil thing is uh, happening on uh, uh, that that is the reason of the death suppose uh, i made some accident okay and that, because of that accident, that is the external sign that you are now, you, know, you are becoming uh, near of the death. Okay. Th this way, uh, yeah, not uh, we can, for understanding purpose, I'm telling you, because the, all the things are uh, mentioned according to the rasis. If your rasis is like this, then you will be do this in this way. In the next slide, it is there. <coughs> The breaths numbered in 12 rasis move in and out with grahas daily. 
according to the bus system. That what you are taking the breaths that all 12 grasses are moved in and out in every time and with the grahas also there. So what are the rasis here? It is mentioned that is the measure that we know, Aries and Prasava and the uh, Taurus and the Mithuna that the Gemini and the Karkat that the Cancer and the Sima that is the Leo and the Kanya that is the Virgo and the Tula that is the Libra and the Prisca. Uh, Rishika, that is the Rishika, that is the Scorpio, and the ninth one is the Dhanu, that is the Sagittarius, and the tenth one is the Makara, that is the Capricorn, and the eleventh one is the Kumbha, that is the Aquarius, and the twelfth one is the Mina, that is the Pisces. So here it is again by the naming of this twelve. Have you seen the different color it is showing? This one, four, seven, and ten. These are the one color. That is the mobile signs on the left side. Means it belongs to your left side of the body. That are the chala. Chala means it is a movable. According to the Basista, he described that these four rasis are movable in the left side. And these four rasis, which is the uh, in the green, that is the uh, Brasava and Sima, that is the Brasika and the Kumbha. These are the immovable, means the stationary sign of the right side of the body. Okay, according to that way it is mentioned here. So I uh, 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 divided it in different colors so that it is easily remembered. And some rasis, four rasis are both sides. It will be workable in the left side as well as right side. Means so. Both are movable and immovable, according to the bus system. Have you seen here? It is first one is the movable, then immovable, then both. Okay, one, two, three. Again, four, five, six also same way. Movable, immovable, and both sides. Again, seven, eight, nine, movable, immovable, and both sides. Again, 10, 11, and 12. Movable, immovable, and both sides. In this way it is divided. You can easily remember in this way what are the signs or what are the zodiacs are uh, movable in the left side. That is the 1, 4, 7 and 10. Okay, immovable that is the right side. That is the 2, 4, sorry, 2, 5, 8 and your 11. Four, four rasis are divided according to that. So total 12 rasis, four rasis are movable, four rasis are immovable, and the four rasis are both sides. It belongs to the left, right, both sides are movable and immovable, both. That is the, in this way, you have to remember. It is easy because it is the color wise I given you, then it is easy to find out. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3 in this way. Okay. So after discussing about this rasis and the how it will be consist of the which side of the body that is also discussed here. Then he said how this uh, rasis, how this uh, nadis, what are the uh, elements, how it will be linked with the elements that is discussed. First nadi uh, means the nadis are here, five nadis are discussing, and that is associated with the five elements. First nadi is your air, that is the air elements, and the breath. How it will be taken the breath? You have to, when you are taking, throw one breath, one side of the nose. It is not mentioned either left or right, that is not mentioned here. So when you are taking, Breath from one side, that means the elements is higher in your body, that is the air element. Okay. And when second uh, nadi is called here fire, that is the element. And how you know that the breath should be upper side of the nose. Upper side of the nose means uh, uh, if this is a rounded circle, upper side means this side. Okay. Upper side means this side, this is your fire. And third one is the earth elements, which is the both side of the nose, you have to take the breath. Both side means this side also. 
and this side also and the uh, fourth one is the water element how you know that in your body that is the water element is higher that the lower side of the nose it will be the activate breath will be taken through the lower side lower side means this side and the five nadi means the ether that is the fire ether element that is the middle of the nose when your ether element is higher inside in your body that is you are taking the breath is inside in your middle of the nose okay so it is not specified in any way but how you know that your body which element is higher which nadis are activate and uh, that through your breath counting you can know and how here maybe your question will become uh, in your mind that uh, how it is the upper side how it is the lower side we are we are able to know that uh, now we are also no, don't know which uh, nostril is activate when awareness will be increased that time we are able to know that our left side or right side nostril is activate same way when you uh, becoming more aware about your breath so you are able to know that which upper side or both side or lower side which one is active okay so after taking this uh, discussing about this element now it is will be the uh, link with the grahas are, uh, yeah, it is discussed one is guru or jupiter second is rahu that is the seizure and the prugu that is the venus and the kuja that is the mars and the Buddha Mercury and the Rabi or uh, Sun, the Chandra and Moon and Sanishchara that is the certain that this uh, uh, eight uh, Grahas are discussing here and the elements it is uh, discussed about the nine but it is not considered any uh, planet to the ether lastly because he, according to the sister, that if ether is there, then it will be more, uh, it is not good for the uh, body or as well as your breath also not going in the smooth way. So it is not good for the health also. The elements air, what is, uh, it is considered that Jupiter is considered with air, Rahu also air, and it will the fire and the uh, mass also fire mercury also earth and sun is earth you have to remember this grahas with elements because in the last year question here elements it is will be the asking in this question that how which graha is associated with which element that is a previous year question okay so you have to remember this one so that i written here and the initial on right nostril uh, that is the Rahu, Mangal, Surya, and Sunny, and the beneficial on left nostril that is the Guru, Buddha, and Sukra and Chandra. Okay, all this sequence of grahas are auspicious, means good on their entrance, means inhalation. During inhalation, these are very good for the all the activity as well as for the body. When you are, it is evil on their exit, when it will be exit, you are exhaling. That time it will be the evil but how it is not mentioned anything uh, that how it will be why in in which basis it is talk and uh, taking your uh, said as the evil and in which basis it is said as the good that is not mentioned in this uh sister sanita okay the next is uh Basista is discussing about the good and evil effects according to the rasis and grahas Suppose uh, here, uh, Basista is telling that uh, if one questioner round is there, suppose you are uh, gone for an interview and one questioner, one uh, person is in front of you, then that front side is, uh, is called as the right side. He, uh, if uh, he is sitting in your back, then that is called as the left side. Okay. And the interrogator means who is questioning you sits in front of the replier, then the answer will be same as the right nostril. Means if you are uh, want to get uh, good result, then that if your right nostril is activated that time, then you will able to get, give any type of answer of the questioner according to the basis. Okay. 
if the questioner in the in, uh, is at your back then answer will be same as the means you are you are able to answer uh, very uh, in an efficient way if your left nostril is activated means your left breath is working okay and eating and uh, in the sexual intercourse war and accumulation of the wealth should be do while the breath passes through the right nostril it is good for you means when you are eating that time you have to check whether it is right nostril is activate or uh, left nostril because for the eating and the anything for the war or accumulation you need heat when heat will be heat will be there when right nostril will be activate so that time only you have to take this activities okay and do any type of physical work or your sympathetic nervous system is activated that time so you have to uh, do this type of activate uh, this type of activity when your right nostril is activated same way when you are doing any deeds like journey you have started a new journey or doing any rituals like a, a good ritual here it is given example suppose you are doing marriage or other auspicious acts then your left nostril breath will be activated at that time you have to check whenever you doing any worship or sip any god or anything you are doing any rituals you must be seen that your left nostril should be act, uh, activate then it will be beneficiary for you because when your left nostril will be activate you become peace and calm and cool minded whenever whatever do you will be in the cool minded that will be working very smoothly and that time your parasympathetic nervous system is activate your mental stability is there so whenever you doing any rituals in good way the your know, peace and cool mind is need so your left nostrils will be activate at that time okay according to the sister he is discussing these things and when you start the journey if you have started a new journey in which time you need to take that is also discuss here who are going to journey if their fire or air elements rashes are activate in the left nostril then that will be bad journey okay brahma also cannot save you if that type of journey you are starting breath move through left nostril during the earth and water part of the rashes then the journey becomes pleasure that will be good and that will be fruitful and one should not attempt journey in the any condition even during the ether element if activate the problems all occurs in irregular breath on rise of grahas in rashes what happens in the what are the problems it uh, will be there so Ma here it sir ha ah. sorry for interrupting how many slides are left it is only two this is the two slide okay, okay. <laughs> the results of the irregular movement of the breath on the axis it is also discussed here that major axis if uh, the irregular breath is there then it is the irritation of mind and loose of objective anything and prasava uh, then it will the immediate loss of money and create pain instantly okay and the three is mithuna that is the trouble in journey journey if your movement of breath is irregular so okay so here he just tried to link that how the breath will be impact on your rashes as well as the elements which is present in the body and how it will be affect your grahas also okay in the same way all other rashes also if karkata rashes is there if you are having a irregular movement of breath then there, that is loss of money at that time if simha rashi is there that is the causing of astray and the kanya that is the obstacles will be come at that time and if you are having tula then the disease will be follow you if your irregular breath is these are the signs he just want to share with the sakhi Rishika, then the death occurs immediately, and the dhanu, then the mind loss of intellect. Okay, and the makara, that is the bodily pain and uneasiness is there, and kumbha, that is the loss of uh, friends. You will be lose your friends if you having irregular breath, and the mina, that is the follow by the evils. So these are the result is mentioned according to the basista, and uh, many things are there. 
and if there are irregularity irregularity in the position of the five elements in this 12 brasses it will the cause fear to all beings and also it will be result danger even the king if you are also having you are a king then you also cannot uh, avoid that type of danger it will be the you will be fall in different type of dangers okay this is the all about your chapter 5 Chapter 6 is little bit, two slides are there. Okay, just uh, patience. Uh, chapter 6 also, after discussing this, means in this chapter, how Vasistha will be linked the breath with the Rasis and Grahas. That means, uh, according to the Vasistha, what he is telling that he, how one will be know the death of the time because of the doing the Dhyana Yoga. And also, these are also impact on that. Okay, Rasis and Grahas also impact on that person who are doing the Dhyanoga also. By through that only you also know. And that Dhyanoga, you, if we um, see in this way, through Dhyanoga also one know able, able to know the time of death. Or also through this breathing pattern also one, one is able to know the time of death. Okay, then what is the precursion? Well, if uh, you know the, your time of death, then what you need to do? That is discussed in the chapter 6. Okay, how one can overcome from the death, recite of importance of Tarak Mantra and recitation of the Trayambakam Japa and Sambhadi practice. Okay, so here Sakti is asking, how can overcome from death after knowing the death time? If you know the death time, then how you can avoid that death? So that is the solution for solution are given by the Vasistha. First one is the by chanting of Tarak, Om and Pranava. Okay, properly in the Dhan uh, state, you have to do it. Means your sense should be controlled and many things, may have, your mind should be controlled. Then you need to chant the Tarak, Om, this mantra. And by Trayambakam Japa also undo the Rudra Dhyana. That also give you the uh you can overcome from the death and third steps is given by the sister that sohama mantra japa means sakara upasara if you are sitting through the uh, sakara means in the presence of any object that is the sakara means you are sitting the linga in the center of your heart or nara and dhana also if you are doing then also you can overcome from the death and the fourth uh, solution is given by the sister that practicing of samadhi through yoga. If you are practicing samadhi, that also give you the uh, you become overcome from the death. These are the four stages and four solutions are given by the sister. And this is the ending of your sister Sahita. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, can you show the that six chapter when? It that's where it started. This one? Previous slide. Yes, this one. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. So, all of you clear? What do we discuss today? Yes, ma'am. Lot of information we need to revise. Yes. Many information, if we try to understand that Rasi zodiac system, what is uh, the sister is telling, that is a different knowledge. I don't have that too much knowledge about that. So that um, I said in this way, maybe uh, if you having anyone having that uh, astronomy knowledge, doing any course or anything, anyone here? No, my husband is studying ma'am. Okay, Raju Suriji, then you ask to your husband about that and uh, sure. uh, you just uh, say us and uh, little information you can share with us tomorrow if you, sure, if you want. Ah. Okay, all of you just try to do the short notes by tomorrow and tomorrow we will do some uh, question answer. Okay, and I will take if you are having any doubt that question also I take tomorrow. Okay. So tomorrow we are having last class. Okay. So all of you come in time.
Yes, that is your team. Will you be uh, now taking up any other new text, ma'am? Uh, uh, today only we, uh, we know that my, I, I got only three topics, that is the yoga piece and Sita Siddhanta versus uh, Sahita. Okay. Tomorrow, see what when I giving the report that I will complete in this one. Let's see tomorrow. Otherwise, tomorrow is the last class for me. Okay. Thank you I so hope much all much. of you. I hope all all of you understand what we I cover. What are the three topics that is clear for you, or not? It is clear for us, but uh, we need to revise more. Yes. Yes. Okay, revise more than you just uh, so that I am telling, but you still you remember all the things, main main points or not? Still. Yes, ma'am, you have explained everything very good, very detailed. Thank you, thank you. but uh, still I, I feel that I have some, maybe I missed out if anything, if I am not able to clear uh, clarify you properly. Then please go through it. If you are having any questions, you can ask me at that time also. Any time. Okay. Sure, ma'am. Okay, Lipalika ji, you try to give only 30 minutes and uh, try to summarize all the things. Okay. I know you are having exam, but try to complete it's if possible. Next week only exam means 29th April it will start. Okay, ma'am, I will try. Ha, ha. How much it will be the possible? Because if you, during exam time you have heard this one, then it will be, I know many of you are very serious. You will be continue, you will complete your task. But many of you like this, uh, if you now we are not complete, then let, let it be like this. Okay. And during exam time, you are just uh, feel very nervous at that time. We don't know. I am not able to remember anything. If it will be in the short note, then it will be easy for you. When you saw the long note, that time you are, mind, uh, you are having vertigo or different things will become in your mind that time. So try if you having any uh, little time also for others, just try to arrange it. Okay, let's do the prayer. Sit in any comfortable posture.